going on everybody? Cool 200 here back with another die cast review video. I am here today with eight amazing looking die casts. So let's just jump right into this here. These are some really good ones. Let me tell you. I'm probably going to start with the oldest one. That being Carl Edwards uh, number 99 from 2007, uh, the car of yesterday, if you want to call it that. So you can see Carl Edwards on the package there. You got this nice little sticker. Obviously the die cast from Winter Circle. There's the back. Tells you everything you need to know. Roush Fenway Racing, number 99. Uh, Ford, Roush Racing, like I said. Jack Roush is the owner. His birthday and his hometown. There you go. So let's just go ahead and get this guy out of the box pretty easy honestly once you get it open the first time there's the beautiful car just grab this sticker here I have actually not taken out the sticker yet so it's gonna be a little tough here come on I mean do we really need to look at it all right it's not coming out I'm sorry I don't want to waste too much time here because this diecast review video is gonna be a long one well there's the sticker. There's nothing on the back of it. It's just a nice little silver sticker. There's that. But you don't care about that. We care about the die cast. And what a good one it is. Let's see if I can get my iPad to stay uh, situated here. And here it is. The Office Depot Carl Edwards. So you got Office Depot there on the front. The 2007 Ford Fusion on the Gen 4 car. You got the black um, bottom of the bumper here. You got a black side skirt. You got some white going down here. You got Office De Depot, Activa, or I don't actually know what that is. I don't know how to say that. I've never known how to say that. You got the black coming here from the, the black roof with the black C, B, or A, B, C pillars. I know that didn't make a whole lot of sense, but whatever. You got OfficeDepot.com, Fusion, black bumper here. You got Office Depot there on the deck lid, black spoiler, and your other side. Of course, this is from one of like four, I think. Wasn't it four years? Or no, I think it was three years of the next Tell Cup series before they switched to Sprint Cup after it was uh, Winston Cup for a long time. So there's some information there. Pretty good looking die cast. I do have the 124 of this if you see seen that review. Um, I do have the uh, ARC 124. It looks pretty dang good. So nice to get the, uh, the 164th of it too. I think it looks pretty good. So yeah. Next we're going to look at a die cast that I've actually had to buy two of. Carl Edwards 2008 Office Depot car. This is not the one that I bought. Um, the one that I bought, I'm not going to open because um, I just don't really feel like opening it. Um, this one, I've had actually for a long time. You see the box is all kinds of beat up and scuffed up. and um, I wanted to find a, the version exactly like this so it would be easier for me to open. But I found the Winter Circle version instead. Um, which would be like, I know I said Winter Circle, but this one's Winter Circle too. But I mean, in this kind of packaging, it's like I said, this is by Winter Circle. They just, it comes in this package instead of this box. So I'm going to review this one instead, but I do have another one. And it is in a lot better shape because it's not open. This one is not, however. Um, go ahead and open it here. It does come in this... A uh, little case, so I guess you could display it as so, so it doesn't get dust on it. But uh, I have actually not done that yet. I want to do that for sure, but that's cool. I'm actually just gonna leave it on the stand. It's pretty straightforward. At 2008, there on the stand, we got uh, Office Depot here, Activa again. Um, you got the blackish bumper with the Fusion nose. You got this black. Curvature going here with the white around it. That's pretty quick. Got the white number 99. You got the 
99 there on the roof. Let me try and get it to focus here. There it is, I think. Got Office Depot there on the corner panel, along with 4A. And of course, I, I did put some mark on it, which is why I replaced it. Got Office Depot there on the deck lid. Uh, OfficeDepot.com on the top of the bumper, yeah, and then you got a red bumper here. You can see there's some paint chips, and that's why I replaced it once again. And your other side. So it doesn't look terrible, um, but this is just one of my older die casts that I had uh, beat up before, and and uh, it was definitely time for a replacement. And uh, the other one is going to be uh, in the box for hopefully it's life unless I change my mind. But that is Carl Edwards, number 99 from 2008. Alright, the next die cast we're going to look at here is Marco Sambros, number 9, from Richard Petty Motorsports. Uh, I think this is a year after, because now it's a 2012. So this is two years after Ray Everham finally uh, went kapoo, and you got uh, Richard Petty Motorsports, the one we have today, basically. As you can see, Marco Sambros, number 9, Stanley, 2012 Ford Fusion. Nothing really to this box, it's just kind of that petty blue, if you want to call it that, with Richard Petty on the box and his t uh, team name and our track under the car. So let's go ahead and pop this guy out here from the Gold Series, of course. Here it is. And I do reckon that this car is a little rare, but it's, it's still pretty easy to find. I actually got a good deal on it. And uh, I actually got this car for $10, along with this car, because they were both $20 on eBay. And another guy was actually, actually $25 just for this one. So I figured that was a pretty good deal. $10 for each. I mean, how you can't really get a 2012 anymore for $10. Bucks. So, um, I mean, you can, but they're, you know, they may be less rare. So, anyways, that's Stanley there on the hood. Mac Tool, you got this yellow hood. You got... Some black spikes coming from the from the bumper there with some more black. Here, you got the number 9 with the Petty. Um, I think this was the second year, right? No, they did this for many years. Never mind. Forgot. Uh, Everham, I don't think, did this with Petty. But I think back when it was Penny Enterprises, they still had that Petty uh, classic logo around the number. And then you got the black background there. You got DeWalt. More black spikes coming from there. You got the number nine there on the back with like this oval, black oval shaped uh, decaling there. That's Stanley on the back there. Ford, you got nothing on the deck lid, just a black deck lid. Got Stanley there on the uh, C pillar. Got DeWalt again, uh, basically your other side. Yeah, pretty cool die cast, I'd have to say. I really do like it. Um, I never really liked Marcus Ambrose. I did win a few road courses in NASCAR before finally leaving, but, you know, I just, I never really liked Ambrose, and I still don't, so, you know, but it's cool to get his die cast, I think this die cast is really cool, and, uh, yeah, there you go. Next, we're gonna look at, oh gosh, Sam Hornish Jr.'s SKF promo die cast. Uh, this die cast I know is like impossible to find uh, and I'm pretty sure some people forget it but it's a cool one I'll tell you that it is a cool one you got Sam Horse Jr. number 12 SKF 2012 uh, Charger so last year for the Dodge being a NASCAR uh, full time they did have back marker Xfinity teams but after this year they were done in cup which is pretty unfortunate there it is, SKF, uh, your Sam Hornish Jr. car here. You got SKF, Pennzoil, your Charger nose. You got the white with the red uh, splitter here. Of course, the splitter is red. You got 12. Uh, you got this weird triangle coming up and just kind of going along the car, along the side skirt here. You got Dodge, SKF there. Just a blank car, just says, just has the white 12 with the uh, the red uh, scheme here. The red part of the scheme here. That's the same horse there on the name rail, of course. You got 
Lincoln uh, Charger red uh, underside of the bumper. You got SKF there and your other side. So it's a pretty blank car. I'm not, I'm not actually sure if this ran because I don't I don't remember Sam Hornish uh, running in the 12 car in 2012. I thought after 20 what was it 20 2010 or 2011 he was done in the Cup Series until he ran full time one more time uh, for Richard Petty in 2014 or 15. It was 14 or 15. I think it was 50. Yeah, it was 15. So. You know, I thought maybe he was in the Xfinity series at this time, but let me know, guys. Did this car actually run, or is this just a just a nice little rare promo 164 diecast? Because to me, I think it ran. Um, maybe I forgot. Uh, but I thought Brad was the last one to run in the 12 car. So until Ryan Blaney took over it this year after actually won Montoya, if you really think about it, he ran a road course in 2014 or 15 in the number 12 for Penske Racing. So, maybe he was the last one as well. It doesn't matter. It's a cool looking die cast. Why am I ranting about the 12 car? When I could be looking at this, Matt Kenseth Zest, number 17 for Roush Fenway Racing. Um, this car, I actually was about to get his Kroger car from 2011. Uh, yeah, he had a Kroger car in 2011. I know, I didn't even know that too. But, I was scrolling down a little bit. I saw a Best Buy one. I did pick it up. And then I kept scrolling just to kind of see what there was. And I saw this beauty. And I... <laughs> I fell in love, definitely. This, I, you, if you watch the Stenhouse Zest review, uh, this car is so gorgeous. I love it. You got Matt Kenseth, number 17 Zest, 2012 Ford Fusion. This car is beautiful. And I love it. Weird, isn't it? But I know this one is ridiculously rare. I was actually very surprised to find it. Didn't even think it was made how rare it was. But you've got the Zest logo here with your aqua, like, seafoam blue, if you want to call it that. You know, it's a seafoam green. I don't know. Uh, you got the Zest logo there, though. you got this kind of lightish blue. It's not really light, light blue. It's like a, it's like a dark blue, but with a, like a lighter-ish tint. I don't know what I'm saying here. Got Valvoline, Zest, Best Buy. Uh, this kind of looks like a wave if you really think about it, you know. And then you got like a weird, kind of bluish green right there on the side. Of course, you got the white 17 uh, outlined in your two colors. You got Zest on the back here, uh, zestfully clean right there with the two like blue things coming off the deck lid there and your other side what a beautiful car there's not even a lot to it i just love the color um i think the colors match perfectly and it is definitely a beautiful die cast very very thankful to get it very thankful that i actually scrolled down to find it i uh, hated bumping the kroger car because i know that one is hard to find as well but, because I purchased it last night, it's okay. <laughs> so, that review will be coming on that one as well. Along with, like, 12 diecasts each, maybe. Nah, more like 11 each. Yeah, 11 each. Because I have 22 coming. So, yeah. My math was a little off. It's, it's summer. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be doing math in summer. Uh, if you still go to school, you know exactly what I mean. And Yeah. Well, I mean, everybody knows what I mean. School sucks. <laughs> Anyways, here's Marco Sambro's 2013 uh, Stanley Dewalt scheme from Richard Payne Motorsports. Go see on Marco Sambro's Richard Payne Motorsports. Marco Sambro's number nine, Stanley 2013 Fusion. Uh, there's nothing really to these boxes. It's kind of your standard 2013 uh, box. As you can see, in 2012, they mixed it up. You know, for the Marco Sambro's box, they had... Richard Petty, it was blue, and it had Petty on it. And uh, for Matt Kenseth, it was fully green with some stripes. You had the 25th anniversary of Rush Fenway, you know. They just mixed up the boxes, kind of, for the teams, you know. But whatever. You got the car right here, absolutely gorgeous. You got Stanley, Mac Tools, Ford, 
your first look at the Ford Fusion from 2013. Kind of looks weird. Um, because I think 2015 they actually had the full grill on it. I don't know. First year Lionel attempted for the Gen 6, and it didn't turn out terribly, but, um, it is kind of like his 2012 scheme, though, where the spikes come out the front here, and you got the, the thing going here. You got the Petty Classic swoop around the 9. You got DeWalt. Of course, you got DeWalt there on the C-pillar. Back here, you got Stanley with the black above and the yellow down here. I think that's kind of cool. It kind of blends in with this black spoiler. You got Stanley down there on the deck lid and nothing else. Or your same side, basically. Also, you have the white nine there. Pretty cool looking die cast for sure. Um, like I said, pretty good deal on it. And I did, I did want both die casts, so I definitely would have spent more if I didn't find that deal, so... 20 bucks for two cool looking die cast. Why not? So, pretty cool. Uh, next die cast we're going to review is Clint Boyer's uh, uh, 30th uh, anniversary to the Toyota Camry. So, of course, you got Clint Boyer, Michael Walter Bracing. We all know that team, right? Clint Boyer, number 15, Camry's 30th anniversary, 2013. Toyota camera, of course. What up? What other body would this be on? Right? Let's go ahead and open this up. I actually kept thinking that this is on the PTC mold. It is not, I would like to mention. Um, and it's also not on the WRL mold. It is on the regular mold, just the wheels. Um, how they're, they have more, uh, less silver in them than I thought they would. Just makes them look like they're on the PTC mold for some reason, but they're not. You got Camry as Camry's 30th anniversary, you got the black hood, you do have a mess up here on the Toyota nose, of course, uh, at this point, Lionel quality went out the window, um, cause it's not centered, it should be here, it's all the way over here, so, yeah, that doesn't make sense, but, you got the red bumper here with the little black and white going off the sides here, uh, you do have a white outlining around the hood, um, you got the red 15 on the silver, um, Roof with uh, Michael Waltrip's team uh, Twitter pin handle or Twitter handle, whatever you want to call it. Um, of course, you do have the red 15 there on the side. You got Peak, Camry's 30th anniversary. You got a lot of, it's basically kind of like a flat gray here with some white striping going across. It does fade right here from a lighter ish gray to pretty much black. Um, with more black striping, you got the red stripe, and then you got the gray back there. Kind of weird. You got peak right there on the C pillar. You got Camry's 30th anniversary on the black uh, bumper here. You got Toyota, let's go places on the deck lid, and there is the other side. Pretty cool looking die cast, if I do say so myself. Uh, I just happened to be looking for Clint Boyer die cast and saw this one. And uh, I decided, you know what, that's uh, pretty interesting. Uh, I'll pick it up. And obviously I did, because why else would it be sitting here? And I'm very happy with it. I like it a lot. I think it looks awesome. So there it is. Clint Boyer's 30th anniversary to the Toyota Camry. Alrighty, guys. On to the last die cast. This is Clint Boyer's 2013 Peak Duck Dynasty, number 15. As you can see here, you got Clint Boyer, number 15, Peak, Duck Dynasty, 2013 Camry. Very nice. You got, oh, there's nothing on the back. It just has the camo here, the 15, Michael Walter Bracing, Peak, Duck, Duck Dynasty, ages 4 and up. So, I don't know if this was a promo or if they just put in a special box because it's um, kind of representing a TV show or whatever, but I remember when Duck Dynasty was a huge hit. I think it still is but yeah anyways you got your four characters here amongst the duck dynasty hood with peak right there of course you got the camry nose that's also lopsided to the left this time or i guess if you're looking at this way would be to the right but whatever you got the um peak colors there on the hood hold on there we go you got the peak colors here on the uh did i say hood i meant bumper there you go, you got the camo there, you got the yellow splitter 
You got Peak Duck Dynasty with more of the uh, peak and a freeze blue and the camo. Kind of a weird uh, transition, but I kind of like it. I know some people didn't, but you have the peak color here and they got the camo on the corner panel. You got the blue, or the blue, the yellow spoiler. You got Duck Dynasty right there. More of the blue and more of the camo. And your other side, of course, you also have Duck Dynasty on the deck that I didn't mention and at Duck Dynasty AE as their Twitter handle. So, or I think that's their Twitter handle, I don't know. But there you go, guys. That's it. That's all the die cast that I have for you today. I'd have to say, quite a nice, uh, quite a nice little review. Um, yeah, for sure. Where's the other one? Come here, Carl. There we go. And of course, your front too. There we go. Just setting up for a thumbnail. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Please like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe for more. Um, what else can I say, guys? Uh, let me know which die cast was your favorite. Obviously, the two up front are my favorites. I think they looked amazing. But anyways, guys, stay tuned for more videos. Follow me on all the socials. Links in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.